If we want to help animals survive, we need to know where they live and how they move across the earth to look for food, find mates, establish new territories, or even migrate across continents. Over the last several decades, understanding patterns of habitat connectivity for wildlife has become an even higher priority for conservation. This is because in addition to widespread habitat loss and damage, climate change is changing the conditions of traditional habitats and driving animals towards new habitats where climate conditions are more suitable. When the mountain lion was recently listed as a candidate species under the California Endangered Species Act, the city needed to determine where the most probable pathways for this keystone species were located within city limits, so we could help ensure that these important creatures could adequately traverse the hillsides that stretch across the greater LA region. I'm a part of the City of LA team helping with these efforts, and we're using Omniscape to do so. The software tools that we updated, which are called Circuitscape and Omniscape, help us to quantify the influence of human land uses like roads, cities, and suburbs on the habitat networks that animals need to move and survive. Maps from these tools help us to understand where to invest in restoration or land protection that can help us to sustain critical movement corridors. Both Circuitscape and Omniscape model the landscape as a large network or graph where each pixel is a node and the edges are weighted by landscape features such as forests, roads, and cities that facilitate or block animal movement. The animals themselves are modeled as random walkers across this graph. In effect, we can now simplify their movement as electrical currents moving across a large electrical circuit and use current as a proxy for movement probabilities. NASA Earth observation datasets are essential for connectivity modeling because they provide consistent information on the physical, environmental, and climatic factors that influence animal movement. Running our models with NASA's data allows us to compare patterns across space and over time so that decision makers can more effectively target conservation actions. Circuitscape and the products derived from it are essential for the conservation of wildlife dependent on movement and connectivity for survival. At DUDEC, we have used the climate resilient connectivity mapping generated by this project to direct conservation planning along the Southern California coast and interior. Vermont has invested major resources to establishing culverts and bridges, which allow animals to traverse roadways where they are in danger of vehicle collision. Using Omniscape has allowed a statewide assessment and identified where establishing new culverts and bridges would have the greatest impact for the lowest financial cost. With this investment, NASA's Applied Sciences Ecological Forecasting Program, our group of computer scientists and conservation scientists have provided great performance improvements in these flexible, open source, and freely available tools for conservation.